Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More. I'm standing outside a fix and flip we just finished. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. It's an old 1918 four square two story that we fixed up, uh, tried to restore as much as we could. And it's finally done. Took like three months longer than we thought it would. Um, was a lot more expensive than we thought it would be. I kind of knew there might be problems with this house when I bought it. Um, I will admit it was a bit of an emotional purchase because I thought the house was cool. I'd never restored one like this before. And uh, I had it in the back of my mind that it might not make a ton of money just because of that. So it wasn't a huge surprise to um, tally up the final bills on it. Hopefully we'll still make a little money on it, but really hard to value this house because of its uniqueness. Um, it is on a slightly busy street as well, which doesn't help it but I think we'll still be okay on it. I bought the house for 178,000. Um, we spent like $80,000 on this rehab. Um, 17,000 that was just on the roof because it's such a deep pitch roof and it was in such bad shape. Plus it's got a big workshop out back that needed a roof. Um, had to spend a lot of money on electrical, plumbing, um, floors, trim. All that which we'll show you. So, uh, of course, check out investformore.com for information on my podcast, videos, all that good stuff, and we'll show you the house. House is already yellow, but we repainted all the trim white. It was like a light blue before. And of course, you can see the before video, and I also did an in progress video that I will link to in the description, so be sure to check those out. You can also look at my um, before and after playlist on YouTube. It shows the before and after videos next to each other on just about every flip I do. All right, so here is the entry. Um, whoops. So original staircase, we redid all the wood stain, um, kept the original windows, did not keep the entryway light, but we did keep a few of the lights in here. And you can see these floors were a mess. If you look at the before video, we weren't sure we'd get to keep them, but the hardwood guy spent, oh, like um, literally a couple weeks on these floors trying to get them to look okay. That's one of the original lights, which I know Nikki hates and thinks is hideous, but I think it's cool. And it was actually an original gas light that was converted to electric. So when they took the light down, uh, the gas pipe is still in the ceiling where they ran gas for all the electrical. That was pretty cool. All right. You can see a lot of texturing. Drywall work was done here as well. One of the cool features of the house are the old pocket doors. So that's the living room, the dining room with the bay window, another one of the original gas lights there. And these floors had missing boards, rotten boards, so we had to replace some of those and try and make them look somewhat close to the original ones. The kitchen is all modern. It actually had these cabinets in it before. And, um, I know some people thought it's kind of crazy to try and save the cabinets, but when they saw the final bill, they realized why you need to save money <laughs> anywhere you can. But we put in new appliances, granite counters, subway backsplash. Then yeah, all the lights are redone in here. Had to put up new drywall um, in this kitchen, most of it as well. And we'll go downstairs first and I'll show you upstairs. All right, so this was just one big room before, and we added another bedroom down here, put that wall up, had to do drywall and sheetrock work down here too, had two stoves, um, we kept one of them, the other one's actually in the shop in back. And here is the other bedroom in the basement. 
nice to have a house this old that has a usable basement. Most of them are low ceiling, small. Oh, that furnace sounds horrible. We may have to get that checked out. <laughs> oh, that's the closet for this bedroom. So, I mean, technically we could have made that a bedroom, but then you'd be walking through the furnace room to get to it, and it's really small, so we just made it a closet. All right, bathroom down here, new tile, tub. That's not my favorite vanity, but we got a bunch of those at Home Depot for super cheap because they're on clearance, and it's a basement bathroom. So we didn't have to make it super incredible. Oh, that's so loud. So that goes back to that other um, closet there. Furnace, hot water heater. We had that furnace checked out, but obviously we'll have to get it checked out again as it's very noisy. All right. Head upstairs. The hardwood guy was really worried that we wouldn't like the stairs because they're not perfect, but I like them like that. It shows how old they are and that they are perfect. <laughs> so, redid all the wood floors up here as well. Um, we still need to replace the glass in that window, waiting on that. Painted everything. This room already had the ceiling opened up with skylights. So try to keep Original doors, the original hardware on the doors. This bedroom was already painted. The trim was, was it green? So um, this is too much work to try and restore that wood. So we just painted it white in this room. And the bathroom up here, read it that. It has a crazy vaulted ceiling as well. Not sure how much I dig this tile. I don't know if it fits the house very well, but that's what it has. <laughs> All right. And then we'll go out back. And I'll show you right up there. So they're cutting down the neighbor's tree right now, so hopefully it's not too lazy, noisy. You can see them up there. Not a job I would ever want. <laughs> um, we had this garage workshop back here, so we painted all of this as well. I probably forgot to unlock this, but um, we thought about making this a second unit. Um, just a studio apartment. The property's actually zoned for it. We could have... Um, another unit back here, except for the setback. We talked to the city and this building is too close to the alley right there. So we could not do the second unit, but it does have a workshop in there. Um, someone could easily turn it back into a garage as well. And like I said, we painted the outside, had to put the roof on it, just cleaned that out in there. Um, had my keys, I'd show it to you, but I forgot them, sorry. <laughs> and that's it, that's the house. Um, hopefully, oh, value is really tough, like I said. <clears throat> 325 to 350, we're hoping it'll sell for. We don't have an exact list price yet. Like I spe said, we spent 80,000 on the repairs. Um, bought it for 178. I did earn a commission when I bought it, so that's, you know, $5,000 or so I made when I bought it. 
And then for carrying costs, we probably have 20,000 or more of carrying costs, selling costs, and financing costs in this house as well. So like I said, we'll be, uh, our break even will probably be just under 300 um, with everything. And yeah, not making a whole lot of money for the amount of work and the huge renovation we had. But like I said, it's kind of a cool house. <laughs> That's not a smart way to do things, but um, I still am glad I did it. So we'll see what happens. I'll do an update video on this one once it sells and let you know what it sells for, how that process works, and um, keep you updated on how that goes. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Um, we'll get it on the market here soon. Hopefully we get a contract on it, make a little bit of money, and we'll keep sending videos your way as well and other flips. So check out investformore.com on my resources page to see information on all my other flips and what's going on there. And we'll talk again soon.